Well, let me answer your question then. Uh, Monty, yeah, well, all right. Well, let Lloyd do it. He's the specialist. No, you're the specialist. Well, no, I'm not the specialist on CB radios. Lloyd is. I'm well, about CB, well Monty. come on, dear. All yeah. right. He, he's. Uh, you're asking about why can't you come on the air with a commercial radio station uh, at will? All right. This is again because the Home Office is the government agency that licenses radio stations in this country. Uh, if you can provide to the Home Office. Uh, yeah, if you uh, show them, if you, if, can, if you can show them uh, a, a decent uh, prospectus, why you want right, to, exactly. you can put in for the next uh, the next time the applications come round for uh, uh, commercial radio. Just make an application like all the other stations have to do, and you may even be lucky. And I, I'm all in favour of Citizens Band Radio, and I'll be absolutely honest about it. Well, let's move on. We've got so many callers. Uh, I've got uh, Jill in the White City. To Carmen or Gentry, I'll talk elementary in the only way I know. Well, there you are. What do you expect on this cold weather like this? Full alert following the latest bomb attacks at Greenwich and Canvey Island. He's told them to strengthen security measures. But one man who lives at Canby found the advice hasn't been heeded yet. Joe Kelly lives a mile from the Texaco site, which was attacked, and he went there this afternoon to find out what the firm was doing about security. He says he could have reached out and touched the tanks of petrol and that no one stopped him. If you look at it, it it's tragic. If you think that people can just walk in and just have, have the freedom of the place, it's so... Uh, if I, so I've been trying to explain to friends I spoke to on the phone, and they just didn't believe me. Some of them just didn't believe me. They were amazed. Well, anybody must be amazed. You, you've got a terminal like that, the tanks are a stone throw away. Considering yeah. whether to blockade the whole of northeast Scotland in protest at the death today of a picket who was run over by a lorry. This is LBC, 261 metres medium wave and 97.3 VHF. Sorry we can't bring you our normal programs at this time, but there's an industrial dispute involving our technicians. This weekend's programming is affected, but we hope to bring you the major parts of our programs. Yes? Carry on, don't worry about it. No, I wasn't, I wasn't worried. Well, it is a bit, I must uh, say, it is a, a bit frightening. If it's they come the first night, mm. and it, it can be quite... Uh, suspending broadcasting until seven in the morning when we shall be on the air again with AM and we shall restore our full bulletin and program service as soon as practicable. I'm trying to be happy. Uh, sounds are made to me. Long, soft sounds. Who makes them, do you think? Where do they come from? Don't know. Don't are they nice sounds? Yeah. Have you heard them before? Yes.
Just relax, Bill. You're going back just a little in time, and you're getting younger and younger. Getting younger and younger, younger and younger, and you're in fact going back now to the time when you were just two weeks old. You're going back now to the time when you were just two weeks old. <coughs> Because? I'm angry. Angry? Yeah. Why? It's anger. Being born four or five hours a day. Light. Light is so much light. The light's amazing. Are we tiptoeing on thin ice here? We have agreed that he won't do or say anything simply to please us. He will speak only if he feels a need to do so. Yet what extent does his imagination, the disciplined imagination of a playwright, make up things as he goes along. These unavoidably shortened extracts of our sessions are really one man's experience as he retraces the process of being born and of growing up. Are these memories childhood fantasies? Are they an overspill from repressed adult knowledge? Or are they real? The more Bill recedes to early childhood, the simpler his language becomes. When he goes back to babyhood, memory language breaks down and gives way to a variety of sounds. So as Lena takes him further and further back in time into the womb, the sound structure forms in my mind. Back, back in time. A disturbing back feeling in time. of loneliness, of helplessness, a sense of anguish. Back in time. Back in time. Back in time. A very long time. yourself getting born. It is now, literally, moments before you start to get born. And then describe the whole thing. Describe what is happening. What is happening? You're getting born. I'm being pushed. I'm being 
the rhythm is different. The rhythm is not like any rhythm I've had before. It's it's and it's getting stronger. It's getting much stronger. This strain on my neck. It's really strong. It's really because my head's been down and my head's coming up and on my neck it's very strong. And the pushing is is steady now, it's not like a rhythm, it's just push. And I'm trying to move my head. trying to move my head. I am moving my head. I'm moving my head. I'm moving my head. My neck's straightening out. And I'm moving it. I'm moving it out. I'm moving it out. Oh, my shoulders have moved. And my legs and feet are the same, but my... It's getting longer. My body's getting longer. My hands are moving up towards my face. Everything's getting... I'm getting stretched. I'm getting stretched out. And it... It... I'm... I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm getting... I'm being pushed. And I'm stuck. And it... It's gotta be... My head's getting very hot. Everything's going on. Very anyway, hot, hot on my head. And I was... I can't... It's such an effort. That... I'm still stuck. I'm still stuck. Rhythm again. Push it. Like like wrist quality. I have to breathe through my nose in order to suck. I didn't know I had a nose. Well, it's two holes. But yeah. Okay. I call it air. I don't know it's air. It's this. Hurtful passage of it hits into the the first thing that has penetrated me 